Hey, this is Tanisha with KTIA, and we are on Abstract Challenge number 16 of 100. If you're new to this channel, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what this challenge is. So basically what I'm doing is 100 abstract painting slash quick studies. I'm trying different methods that you can do with your abstract art or any mixed media type of art to help me grow as an artist. I feel like it doesn't matter how long you've been into art, you could there's always room for growth. And I, I actually I love to experiment. I love to try new things. So for me this is really fun, but it has also helped me in so many ways. Um, it's helped improve my art abstract art practice tremendously. And so as I go through these videos I try to explain, you know, what my goals are, what I'm learning what I like, what I didn't like, um, and how this helped me grow. So in hopes that it can help you as, as well. Um, and I hope to encourage everyone to do something like this because you can grow so much from it. But this challenge is all about line work. I absolutely love line work. I love working with lines. I love drawing lines. I always have. And it's just something that I find very, um, I don't know comforting or just fun it's it's weird in a way <laughs> but i look forward to sharing what i've learned in this challenge with you um what i do differently and overall how i felt it went All right, so as I'm getting into this, I start to think about making different types of line in terms of the weight. So I wanted to have some thin and I wanted to have some thicker lines just to give more interest to this. Honestly, again, none of this was planned. And I don't know why I say again, because I, I haven't said this before, but none of this is planned. I have a 15 minute timer on, I don't have a lot of time. And so I'm trying to just kind of go with the flow. I know that eventually I want to add color. So I'm trying to do the line work and then start to think about how I want to incorporate color. And so that's what we'll be doing next. But for the most part, I spend a good amount of time going between my Micron pen and the Posca pen because they have different weights. And that's mostly what a lot of this is. And Again, a very soothing process. I love doing this. It's fun, but I am at this point a little bit. I start. I think I, I was thinking a little bit because I was thinking, how am I going to incorporate color with the line work? There's so many ways I could have done it, but I didn't have a lot of time to think, which is actually good for me. The less I think, the better things are. I don't know about you, but I feel like I do my best work when I'm not thinking. <laughs>
So here I started to add color and this was the next part of the challenge was to figure out, okay, where do I go from here? How do I, what do I want to do? Um, so I just started adding color and playing around with it. I really don't know what I want to do. I feel like the lesson that I learned here is I do like the fact that I did the thin lines and the thicker lines. I feel like that's really, really important. I I think with pieces like this, it, you may have to do a little bit more thinking. But, you know, I, I'm up in the air about that because there's something about just letting yourself play that can really bring out something really nice here. And I think the 15 minutes just wasn't enough time for me to really figure out where I want to go with this. I will say that I like how it was thinning out the paint, you know, putting it down and then wiping it off. But also the paper, I think it took a pretty big hit with all that wiping off. Um, but for the most part, I really like what was happening, starting to happen here. But overall, I think I would have liked to have had more time to do more with this. And as you can see, I was using Liquitex paint, so I, I went ahead and I bought some Liquitex paint. Now I typically use Nova Color paint, but I wanted to buy some of the Liquitex paint because it has, they have so many different colors and I like being able to just utilize different colors in my painting r rather quickly than to do a lot of mixing, especially for the quick studies. And one thing I can say is that I noticed with the Liquitex paint is that it was a little thinner than I was used to. And so I struggled with that a little bit. So that's something to consider. <laughs> Maybe trying to paint for the first time might have not been a good idea. I have used Liquitex before, but I used a soft body. And this Liquitex, actually this is Liquitex Basics. It's just a little bit thinner than I was used to. Not saying I don't like it, I can see some really good uses for it, but that's kind of a struggle that came up for me with this painting. So as we go further and further into this, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like this. I don't like, I think the Liquitex paint, honestly, the basics paint really was throwing me off. I don't think it's a bad paint. It just was really 
not doing what I expected it to do. But I do like how I went back in here and defined those lines again, which really made to start made it start to pop out. And it was as I was getting towards the end of my 15 minutes, I was thinking, okay, what I would like to do is really have this art stand out. But the time was running kind of <laughs> running out. And I really want to learn to stick to that time because before I was spending days and days and days making these quick studies and quick studies are meant to be quick, not days and days worth of <laughs> studying. And so I have gotten a lot out of this and it's enough for me to say, okay, you know, when I do this type of work, I either need more time or I need to do a little bit more thinking ahead of time how I want to lay it out. And also definitely want to do thinner lines, thicker lines to kind of bring the interest of the piece. Um, but if I don't have enough time, um, enough a plan, I definitely need a lot of time to really put this together to make it work. And also I need to try this, this concept with a different paint, like the paint I'm used to. And perhaps maybe I'll get a different experience with it. If I were able to have finished this painting, I would have I thought maybe going in with a more solid color uh, and maybe allowing that part that's really defined there to pop out but this is where I got and and I'm going to continue painting over a little bit and try to figure out where to go with it but um yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you try a challenge of doing some line work you never know you might like it you might not like it who knows it's worth a try it's fun to experiment, at least for me. Not everybody is, uh, I'm not the type of person that feels like I have to do one thing, that there's only one way to do everything. I like to try different things, experiment. I feel like it just makes life so much more fun, at least for me. Some people um, do have a habit and tendency to stick with one thing, and I think that's amazing if that's who you are. We're all different and unique as human beings, and I like to encourage anybody on this channel to really learn to be okay with who they are, what you like, what you don't like. If you're the type of person that likes to stick with one type of um, artwork, let's say you don't, you just like abstract and you, you don't do any mark making, you don't do any line work, that's great. I think we have to do what, what we love. That's most important, do what, what, what works for us. So um, I definitely always like to encourage people to do them and be who they are. And this is who I am. I like different things. I like to experiment. So this really lines up with who I am. I really hope you enjoy the rest of this video and be sure to stick around to the end where you'll get a view of the the piece where I end it. It, it really isn't complete, but at least you can see where, it, where I ended and how it looks once it's done and it's been scanned in because on here, it's, it's not always as it's clear, but sometimes I like the picture better in the end. I really hope you're enjoying this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like the video. I really appreciate you doing that. That really helps a great deal. Um, and also leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. You know, I do these videos because I hope that what I'm sharing with you will help you in your practice. It's not just about me showing what I'm doing. I'm hoping that the things and the words that I'm saying are helping you. So look forward to talking to you on the next video.